What's up YouTube? Got a very quick, short video today. I have uh, kind of two tips when you're building a look that I think will be uh, pretty worthwhile. Okay, so I was out roaming around today and you've seen this look a handful of times if you watch the video, uh, watch this channel rather. It's kind of my go-to winter uniform I'm discovering. In an earlier episode I talked about kind of arguing a case for having a quote unquote uniform where, and of course it depends on your line of work and these different things. But for me, where I'm out roaming around in different uh, areas, different neighborhoods of Denver, and I'm not usually see seeing the same people day after day, and my clothes are clean, I kind of have more or less the same kind of thing that I like to wear. And I realized that this outfit is kind of becoming just that for the cooler months, where I have a little bit of a darker kind of brown sport coat, which, uh, is lined and so it's not going to be as breathable as a summer option which is great because i want to stay a little warmer i'm oftentimes kind of popping the collar if it's very cold outside or not too too cold but i've mentioned before that combination of having a scarf popping the collar and getting a pair of driving gloves is pretty good for most options for uh, most days for myself but this look in particular i realized today i'm kind of following two rules when I'm building it out. And I think a lot of you can really adopt um, either one or both of these little tactics to help build a very cohesive look without putting a lot of effort into it. So first and foremost, I'm kind of picking a color and sticking to it. I tend to wear a lot of blues. And so you got a very dark blue. Uh, they're not quite jeans, but they're definitely a jean uh, cut. Uh, it is still kind of a denim hybrid, but it's a casual look. So I'm wearing uh, more or less dark blue jeans and then a blue shirt. Doesn't quite matter what the pattern is, but just having those two is gonna be very cohesive. And then the last thing is just a, a blue pocket square. And that could be, in this case, kind of a white pocket square, but again, to kind of build this uh, cohesive look on uh, color, I'm just sticking to blue all throughout. So that's one rule. It's just having a theme, a motif of a color and not worrying too much about anything else. If you have a, a shirt and pair of pants and more or less a complementary color scheme, you can throw on pretty much whatever jacket you want. Second rule is, you know, I do have a belt on and it matches more or less my brown leather watch band here. So this is kind of a subtlety that we don't talk about too, too often. Usually you'll see, obviously, that, uh, that golden rule where you are always going to have your shoes more or less be matched to the leather of your belt if you're wearing one. But going a step farther, match it to your watch band and be very, very subtle, but people will definitely pick up on it. And so these two things are kind of building a really cohesive look, right? You have the blues kind of throughout, and then, of course, the subtleties of shoes, maybe not so subtle, but your shoe and one particular color and shade of leather and then matching your belt. And then if you can pick it up on your watch band, you have a really cohesive all around good look. Wasn't too hard, right? I'm not spending a lot of time rummaging through the closet or worrying about um, the finer style points. I'm just kind of following two big schemes, two big rules to uh, get dressed in the morning and it's pretty darn easy. So what do you guys think? Uh, what are your kind of go-to rules when you're kind of building a look and how do you keep it super simple and super practical? I'd love to hear. And if you have not subscribed, please do. we got more videos coming all the time. And in the future, I think uh, for 2018, we might start to do more of, I don't want to say a video blog, but sort of a video blog in the sense of it won't always be a style tip on the couch here or out and about be much more of our day-to-day -day operations and kind of what we're doing as a team at Bespoke Edge and how we're kind of building our brand. I think it'd be a really fun story to tell. So on that topic, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, would you like to kind of see more about what we're doing as a company and our personal journeys? And of course, interspersed among that will be all the good style tips and different things that kind of come up organically throughout our day and per perhaps uh, with our clients, which would be kind of cool to tell that story as, as well. All right, guys, thanks for your attention. We'll see you soon.